My six-year-old Josiah is obsessed with a video game called Kingdom Rush. It's called Kingdom Rush because there's all these like orcs and goblins and bad guys that are trying to rush and take over your castle and you're trying to protect your kingdom and you build these towers to hoard off the enemies and all these things and my six-year-old son is obsessed with it. The reason I know this is because the first thing I do when I wake up as I see him looking over my bed, looking at me, waiting to talk about Kingdom Rush. He just came and dropped something off at the church and what did he do? He wanted to talk about Kingdom Rush. And then tonight when I get home, what does he want to do for our special time? He wants to play Kingdom Rush. And here's the thing, he knows we don't do screen time during special time, but all he wants to do is talk about Kingdom Rush. And so I have this thing, if I care about what he cares about, I talk to him about what he wants to talk about. So let me say this. What does God care about? And what does God want to talk about? It hit me as, as I was reading through the Psalms in this series. Psalm 8, take a moment, I want to read it for you and listen to what is, is God's heart and what he cares for. Psalm 8, verse 1. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name! It fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You've taught children and animals to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the works of your fingers, the moon, the stars that you have set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yet, you made human beings a little lower than God and crowned them with your honor, your glory, you gave them charge over everything you made, putting all things under their authority. The flocks and the herds and the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish of the sea, and everything that swims under the ocean. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I love how the psalmist starts by talking about God's power and majesty and the beautiful things he's created and the wonderful works of God's hand. And what does he say is the most wonderful works of God's hands? You. And it's amazing that God cares about you and all the things going on in your life. So what do you think God wants to talk about? You. Friends, I don't know what it is on your mind right now. If it's health or finances or time or family or stress, whatever it may be, we all have unique challenges. But whatever that is, I want to remind you that God wants to talk to you about it because you are important to him. So whatever is important to you, your heavenly father wants to talk about. So take a moment and whatever is on your head, whatever is on your heart, instead of holding it all in by yourself, give it to God and start with a conversation saying, God, this is what I'm excited about. This is what I'm scared about. This is all my mind can think about. And instead of running away from God with it, let the things that you're excited about help draw you to God because God cares about you.